Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Amy Reactions, and this is going to be a story type of video. It's not a Dollar General story, it's just a story story. And I don't know about you guys, but are any of you guys have issues with sleeping? Uh, I've got a couple issues with sleeping. Not that I don't want to sleep. No, my issues are, it takes uh, forever to get to sleep. When I do sleep, I'm always tired. You guys have seen me in my videos. You see me yawn all the time. I'm always tired. No matter what. But then again, lately I haven't gotten much sleep, so it makes sense. But even if I think even if I was to get like a full 10 hours sleep, for example, I'd still be tired. Uh, when I do sleep, I tend to have issues with staying asleep and staying in bed. I tend to sleepwalk, and I can't control it. This story is going to be about my first instance of sleepwalking, in a way. I assume that's what it is, because I'm going to kind of try to explain it in this video, and maybe you guys can help me figure out what it is. Essentially, uh, it was, what, a year or so ago, I think? Yeah, a couple years ago, I think. Now, maybe it was longer than that, because I think this started at some point after Jackson was born. But, anyway, uh, that night I had a very, I wouldn't say scary, but it was terrifying to me at the time. Uh, the dream was I was in the living room, which is like right in that direction, like right next door. And I was looking out the window, and there was a figure standing there, a black figure, not black the color, as in, you know, a black person, but a black shadowy figure with glowing red eyes looking back at me, and he was trying to get in the house, and I screamed. Apparently, I screamed outside the dream and fell out of bed or got out of bed or something because I blinked and looked around, and I was on the floor, like, right there on the floor, and apparently, I did it so loud that I woke up my mom, my sister, and the baby, which I guess was Jackson at the time. It was probably a good thing that I did that because that very same night, right after that happened, they went and I guess looked in the living room, or my sister went out to smoke or something, and the house, not right across from us, but like a couple of houses down, but still across the street, was on fire. So yeah, it was a good thing that happened because... I don't know if anybody else they called 911 or the fire department or whatever, but if they hadn't, there was a propane tank behind that house. Who knows what would have happened had the fire got to it. Wait a minute. Big boom. Which would have woken everybody up anyway. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, here's another instance of me sleepwalking. Which is actually an instance of sleepwalking. Sort of. But I'm just going to do one more of these and then I'll, another story will be what happened last night. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think a bit of an incident when Jackson was a baby traumatized me a bit. Because before he started, you know, moving around when he would sleep, I would lay him on the bed. On this bed. Or not quite that bed, but the bed I had at the time. And he would sleep. And be fine. I was washing dishes that day, and he started crying, and I figured it always passed the fire fell out of his mouth, so I went to check. He had rooted himself, essentially moved himself off the edge of the bed, right over here, fell off. There was an exercise bike right there. He landed on the bar the, by the... behind the wheel, I think, on his back. And that's why he was crying. It freaked me out, because I thought something had happened to him. I think that has traumatized me in my head so much that I will occasionally have dreams where they're on my bed and they fall off and go under my bed and I get up to try and grab them. And I do that in my sleep and wake up standing out of my bed by where I thought they had fallen off. And I actually at one point turned on the light when I was you know, sleeping in the same room as Wyatt and thankfully I didn't wake him up. I looked around after I turned on the line and I was like, Aw, oh, crap, not again. Because that ain't the first time that's happened. 
Can anybody tell me what's going on? Because I have no idea. <coughs> anyway, uh, those were a couple stories of me sleepwalking in it. Like I said, that's not the only times this have happened. I'll tell the other one about what happened last night in a different video, but uh, I figured I'd you know give you some stories about my home life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these. If you can give some comments or whatever, what you think what's going on or whatever, that'd be great. I will see you guys next time.